Uh, greetings and welcome to our weekly educational rounds here at Seclair and, and Holistic Integrative Psychiatric Facility where we treat people, we do not treat diagnoses. Uh, my name is Jim Ellermeyer, I'm a behavioral health therapist here at Seclair and each week we attempt to take some topic of relevant interest and bring that out into the public and also offer you some real life and real time ways to deal with what our presentation is. And today I happen to be joined by two of my colleagues. On my right would be... I'm Michelle. I'm a physician assistant student. And on my left? I'm Marisa. I'm also a physician assistant student. Right, right. And today what we're going to be talking about is time management. Uh, and quite often in life, uh, you know, people would just tell you to snap out of it, or people would tell you to get a grip, or people would tell you to cheer up, or people would say, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade, right? Mm -hmm. So has anyone, did anyone ever tell you that? When mm -hmm. life gives you lemons, make lemonade? Did they ever give you the lemons, or the sugar, or the water, or the pitcher, or the, or the stir, or the instructions? Mm -hmm. No. Well, that's what we're going to attempt to try to do today. Okay, to help people. And one of the biggest issues that cause anxiety and stress in our country in particular is is time and time management. And time is something that's an artificial construct that we impose upon our lives, do we not? Yes. So you two are physician assistant students, and I understand that being a physician assistant student is more of an endurance test rather than a learning experience. And if you stand at the end, you win, right? Yeah. And you're just about ready to win. <laughs> <laughs> so, so tell me, tell me, tell us, uh, tell the audience, tell us a little bit about what it's like briefly to be in that world. Well, it's a very big commitment um, for 27 months, and it, it kind of gets hard because you don't really feel like you're living. You're just doing only school, which 27 months. Sometimes you think you can do anything in 27 months, but it still gets hard because I feel like I'm missing out sometimes on things I'd like to be doing. Mm -hmm. Marisa. Yeah, like Michelle said, it's just a big, it's a, you basically have to change your life to dedicate your life to PA school for those 27 months or however long your program is. And it is hard because you used to be able to do a lot of things with your friends and family and they might not understand why you can't do everything you used to do. Um, and it gets stressful trying to balance like personal life and um, school and trying to figure that all out. But sometimes you just have to step back and realize that it's only going to be a short two years and you just have to suck it up and we're thankful for being in PA school, so. Oh, sure. So what, and right now you're talking about time, is that correct? Mm -hmm. So quite often you know that one of my favorite questions is, is what time is it? Right now. And I know that you know that answer by now. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> the idea is, what does, what does right now mean to you? It means that you're just right in the moment. You can't change what's happening, what's happening in the future, or what has happened. You can only focus on what's going on right now. Right. So... How often do we, Marisa, do we hear people say time is money or time is of the essence? Time flies. Time is relative, Michelle. Time is on my side. We measure time. We lose time. We kill time. How often have you said recently, I don't have enough time? A lot. A lot. What's what's <laughs> yeah. a lot? Tell us what a lot um, is. Um, probably a couple times a week, maybe if not every day, depending on the week. But Michelle? I last said it today. You said it today? <laughs> I did. You think you'll say it again today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea is, for everyone out there, how often do you say, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough time, and how much often do we worry about not having enough time and not getting the things done that we want to? A lot. And we spend, we spend too much time worrying about not having a time. And of all the substances, Marisa, that we abuse on this earth, whatever that is, drugs, alcohol, gambling, shopping, sex, flipping coins, eating popsicles, uh, some of, one of the substances we abuse the most is time. Is it not? Mm -hmm. So how, how, in your perspective, how do people abuse time? Um, maybe just not using all of their time wisely. Uh, maybe just putting things off and saying that you have time to do that later and then that time is now and you haven't done it. I'm well, sure. Yourself? I know for myself I waste a lot of time worrying about what I need to do rather than just focusing on it and doing it. Sure. I'm just worrying, so I just I waste my own time. And this comes from the twelve step world, Marisa. What we call that is paralysis by analysis. Have you ever felt so overwhelmed that you got nothing done? Mm-hmm. 
Marisa? Yep. Absolutely. Sometimes you just lay on the couch and you're paralyzed and you just can't can't get anything done. So keeping that keeping that in mind and keeping the time thing in mind, let's imagine our lives as and all the stuff that we have to do as stones. Okay? We know, and we all create mountains of stones, do we not? Mm -hmm. So if a person came up to Marisa and Michelle and Jim and said, I'm going to give you one month to move this mountain. And we'd sit back and we'd say, it's too big. We can't move it. How are we going to do it? So the idea is that in one month that person might come back and say, Michelle, you haven't moved that mountain. What would you say to them? I know. I can't. I can't. Mm -hmm. It's too big. It's too big. So you've wasted a month worrying and wondering about that, have you not? Mm -hmm. So one person walks past that mountain and takes one stone and walks away. Mm -hmm. Okay? And in five seconds, they have moved more of that mountain than we have in a month. Mm -hmm. So the idea, what I'm talking about is the idea of mindfulness. And mindfulness at its simpleness is simply paying attention on purpose. Paying attention on purpose. Accurately in describing the situation that we're involved in. So we're, Michelle, in that moment, in, in, in that moment and in that time. One of the things that I commonly hear among, have you ever met anybody uh, that has, uh, you've asked them, and they said they're killing time? Mm -hmm. Have you ever done that? Have you mm -hmm. ever said that? Yes. Yeah. And how often do you say, I don't have enough time? So tell me, tell me how that, tell me how those two things fit together. Um, I don't know. If you're saying that you're killing time, you're kind of implying that you're wasting time until you get to whatever else you have to do. But right, you're saying if you don't have enough time, like whatever you need time for, you might as well use that time that you're killing. So <laughs> let me ask you this: What is your favorite color? Pink. Pink. And your favorite color is pink. This makes it really easy. <laughs> Uh, so tell me what your favorite symbol is right now. It would come to you. Star. A star. You have a pink star. And Michelle? A heart. You have a pink heart. A pink star <laughs> and a pink heart. Okay, so the idea is that these pink stars and pink hearts are not Crayola crayon color. Okay? What they are is they're vibrant, they're alive, and they're glowing, and they're flexible, and they're shimmering. They're the most magnificent objects in the universe. So what else are we born with but time, Marisa? We don't know how much. You, you have time, correct? Yeah. So let's imagine that this time is you have time as a bag full of it on your hip, mm -hmm. a bag full of it on your hip. You have these magnificent irreplaceable blue pink hearts, okay? Mm -hmm. You have these magnificent irreplaceable pink stars. So have you ever thought of every time that you do something, every time you have a thought, every time you have a behavior, you're reaching in that pocket and you're pulling out and you're spending those irreplaceable objects that are only yours. Are you not? Mm -hmm. You're spending them. How often do people think of that? And there are no refunds. There are no refunds, even if you have a receipt. And it's not Walmart. They won't give you a gift card. So my, my thought is, is how can we a bit, be a bit more mindful about spending that currency? And I'm asking everyone out there to pick your favorite color, Pick your favorite symbol and imagine that is your time and time is currency. So it's really and truly not time we lack, it's focus. Mm -hmm. Okay, focus. And focus again is about mindfulness, paying attention on purpose, dealing with what's right in front of us. So for everyone's mantra for the rest of the day, I'm asking them to say, I am right here and it is right now. And be right where you are and be right now. Be right now. And as always, at the, at the end of every podcast, we give a free prescription, which would be fruits, nuts, and vegetables, unplug your television, mm -hmm. and perhaps a take up fishing. Correct? Mm -hmm. And for a truly mindful experience, we fish without bait. No expectations. Take the expectations out of your life. It's when we set definitive expectations that we end up setting ourselves up for disappointment and failure. Fishing without bait would be the best way that I could imagine we could do that. And um, Marisa is going to take us out, tell you how you can reach us for comments, questions, and the rest of the content we have here at Seclair. To continue the conversation, please like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter under Seclair Life. You can also find this and other Grand Rounds on YouTube.com slash Video. 
and find audio versions on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. And please visit www.seclair.com for more about us and other articles on our great blog. Your assignment for the rest of the day is to be good to yourself. And you know, I believe you'll find that when you're good to yourself, it's amazing how much better other people feel. Take care until the next time. Mm-hmm.